Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus Stone and in this video you will learn how you can easily add a timer for Streamlabs OBS for Twitch. So all you want to do is just go to Opera or Google Chrome, write to Google SNES and then just click on the first link. Then what you want to do is just download the SNES and when you have it, we are going to install it. So just download it. Okay, it's being downloaded. And then I got it already downloaded. I'm going to install it. Just click OK. Then choose where you want to download it. Like that. SNES, OK. Create desktop shortcut, OK. And install. And now I'm going to launch it. We are doing really well. And we are fast. So when you're going to install the SNES, just open it. We need to wait for a while to do it. And now what we are going to do, the first thing we are on the right tab right away. What you want to do is change the output format to minute and seconds. Then what you want to do is to count down the specific time. This is what interests us. Let's choose it to only minute and seconds. Count to. When you're going to uh, click on this link, it will put it the time you got here. And what we are going to do, we are going to write here time 14, 15, 0. So let's say that we want to uh, start streaming on 2, 2 p.m. and 15 minutes. Now what we are going to do is just live output. Countdown is down. Message went down. We will write streaming is on stream is on live output start and you can see it here the live output is 15 minutes and now you will find it here the where where we have it is a snes one text file and countdown.txt now we will go to the folder and we will try to find it so Let's SNES one text files and we can see it here the, the countdown. And yep, so what we want to do now is to go to Streamlabs OBS, add a source, text CGI. Okay. And now what you want to do is text read from file, browse, and let's find the uh, SNES one text files. And what was it? Countdown, right? Open. And as you can see, we got a time down here. Okay. Okay. And voila. When you're going to right click on it, properties, OK. You can change the color, you can change the opacity, background opacity if you would have it like black, alignment left top. Use, you can use custom elements, color, text transform, uppercase, OK, font family. You can change it to something quite better like this. And also let's see properties. Regular. Yep. It's regular. I mean, you can choose time, whatever you want. It's really up to you. I mean, the font impact is quite good. So this is how we do it. And from uh, every beginning of the stream, uh, what you need to do is to always start it like this. And then you can go. When it's, I'm not going to wait 30 minutes, but you know, it's going to end. And then it, it's going to write here starting soon. And then you're just going to, from starting soon, go to live scene or be right back. What I recommend is uh, when you're on starting soon, just 
set up a scene and when you have a scene have a timer here always then also have a music some really cool music added through media source and we'll show you like add a music here through VLC source or media source and you got here the mp3 and I have like really calm Buddhist monk uh, no copyrighted music I recommend that and just have the timer if you are starting in the 10 minutes so this is what you can do and this is what I recommend and that's kind of it so thank you very much everybody for watching if you enjoyed this video uh, you can support me subscribe i'll be really thankful for that and also write me down below in the comments what else would you like to learn and i will probably make a tutorial on it thank you everybody have a blessing amazing day oh this is six minutes video already and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> goodbye